Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to set up the loader app on your Fire Stick as well as the best codes for that app, the ones that you have not heard about before. Those codes are going to allow you to watch movies, TV shows, live TV, or get an amazing web browser to your device. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get the loader to your device as well as how to set it up. So, first of all, of course, you have to go to the Amazon App Store on your device, that's the first step we're gonna do, and start typing the loader in the search. And as you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. Let's click on it. And that's the app that you gotta get to your device. But after you get the loader, it's actually not over yet. We still need to set it up. So in order to actually set up the loader, we have to go to settings on your Firestick device by clicking on that button with a gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Let's open it. And from here, you'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find the developer options anywhere, just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So now if we go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared for us right here. Let's open them, turn on ADB debugging, then go to install known apps. From here you just need to locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now finally we go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, we open it, and there is the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there is one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Iceland right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we go back to the list of apps on your device, start up the downloader application and wait until it loads for you. Then here on the left side menu, it's very important that you click on home and not on browser. That's really important. And now here in that search bar, we'll start entering the codes or the links which we're going to use to get those amazing apps for you. So the first app we're gonna get you is for watching the movies. So the app is called as a stream, and therefore the link is going to be stream.cloud. So there you go, the link is once again stream.cloud, you can see it on your screen right now, so just enter it as you see and do not make any mistakes, because obviously if you make a mistake then the link is not going to work. After that let's click on go, 
And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you would get even more content about forestics. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly helps me a lot. And now when that website has opened, we need to download the APK file. Let's zoom in a little bit and maybe a bit more. And here, as you can see, it says Android TV version. That's the version we need to get because Fire Stick is basically Android-based device. So click on Android TV version and in a couple of moments, the download is going to start. Usually that does not take long, but of course it all depends on the connection speed on your device. Then click install and now the Stream application will be installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV device depending on what kind of device you're using, of course. And then, after it was installed, don't click on Open yet, instead press on Done, because this way you'll have an option to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on your device. So click on Delete and then Delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary files from our Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And now if you go to the list of apps on your Fire Stick, open it, you're gonna find the S Stream right here. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, S-Stream is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Then you can safely open the app. And from here you'll get access to loads of movies and TV shows, including the newest ones. I just had to blur out my screen, because YouTube does not allow me to show you the exact movies available in that app, but in your case, of course, it's not going to be blurry. And now, let's go back to the loader so I could show you a couple more codes to get amazing apps to your Fire Stick. So we open the loader once again, and now let's get you some live TV as well as live sports. And the code for that is going to be 984076. So once again, it's 984076. Let's click on go, and in a couple of moments, the download should start. So that app is called Rapid Streams, and it's got loads of channels from all over the world, including US, UK, Canada, Australia, and so on, including the sports channels, of course. Here, just click on install and wait for the app to finish installing on your Fire Stick device. And after it's done, of course, never forget to delete the installation files. After that, you go to the list of apps on your device, and there's the Rapid Streams, which we just unloaded. Let's put it up front as well, and then open up the app. And there you go, there's a lot of channels from all over the world. Once again, I had to blur out my screen for the same reason as in the previous application, but in your case, of course, it's not gonna be blurry. And now we go back to the loader, and I'll show you one more code for today. So go back to home, erase the previous code, and now I'm gonna show you how to get an amazing and probably the best web browser for your Fire Stick, it has an integrated mouse toggle, so you do not need a separate application or a Bluetooth mouse. And it's got an integrated ad blocker as well, so it's amazing for watching media files, movies, and so on online. So the web browser is called Watched, and therefore the link for that browser is going to be watched.com. So let's get it. Once again, it's watched.com. Come. Just like that, here's the link, you should see it on your screen, after that click go and wait until that website opens. After that, hit that download button, press get it on Android, and now just in a couple of moments it's gonna be downloaded. The file is quite big, over 100 megabytes, so if you got a slow connection then it might take you some time for the file to actually download. Then click install and wait for the browser to get finally installed on your device. And as always, after that we delete the installation files, go back straight to the list of apps on your device, open it, there you go, and there's the watched browser that we just installed. Let's put it up front, open up the app, and there you go, there's the web browser, it's got a mouse toggle, 
It's got an integrated ad blocker and overall it's an amazing web browser to have on your flower stick. So today I showed you some amazing codes for a bit loader. Hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye bye.